Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made the Kirtlin formation. Basically for each video of this series, I will be doing uh, a video where I show a time lapse of me making it. So in this time lapse, um, you can see I'm basically just laying down some sand right now for the um, coast area. Basically, this formation uh, had a inland seaway. Uh, that was at the time disappearing uh, so I just decided to add a little uh, almost like a coastal plain area I tried to recreate here uh, just like a river and some sand and I eventually will uh, see here yeah I'm putting down a river and uh, I decided to splotch some water around it as well um, just to kind of like give that like marshy type vibe because a lot of the water was dissipating but the ground around it was still very wet um, and I just try to remove, uh, basically I destroy all the default terrain of everything that is around, uh, and replace it with my own stuff. So I'll usually get rid of all the water sources that are on that map and trees. Um, but seen here, I just kind of, you know, start here and, and remove them as I go along. Uh, and I decided to use the coastal, uh, grass, uh, very fitting, um, Unfortunately, yes, you can't get rid of the grass in Jurassic World Evolution, um, so there has to be grass in in this area, usually where there wouldn't be. But as you can see here, um, that, yeah, that, that's basically it. I, uh, I went ahead and I quickly built that section. And from there, you can see I'm just kind of transitioning the sand into the grass area. Um, just by adding some grass spots and letting it, you know, break up the sand a bit. And from there, I go ahead and um, just get a little better idea, map out what I'm actually going to be doing here in a bit. Um, and yeah, you know, a lot of the, this formation was um, very wetland-like, so there will be a lot of that throughout this. And you can see here, I go ahead and start adding more of the regular grass now instead of the coastal grass to help transition into it. Uh, remove some of the water, terrain, just to help me get a better idea of what I'm doing because all that stuff isn't going to stay. I will be transforming it into the way the uh, to fit the formation a, a bit better. So getting rid of all. The rest of this, there's a lot of trees here. Uh, here I'm getting rid of it up at the sand area as that didn't really make sense to have them there either way so I could fill it in with some more sand and even it out again with the grass um, decided to add more grass over there now, I chose this grassland one by the way because there's these large shrubs that have it there um, or that are come along with that grass type so it kind of helped to give that picture of like grass not existing at the time and just being like these shrub like plants. Uh, yet again, unfortunately, you can only have grass in Jurassic World Evolution. You cannot get rid of it. So uh, here I'm adding these uh, tall like trees here. Um, they're almost like a savanna like tree. I thought they fitted well in the marsh. Uh, you can see here I started adding the water. Use the uh, anti-water tool, I guess you could call it to um or remove water tool to kind of make it uh, a bit more natural and make each one a little bit different and doing it again here making it look very nice and then i go ahead and add more grass to cover that up this just kind of makes it um you know shows like makes it more swamp like to how the grass is in the water kind of overgrowing everything and then here i show a nice ground view of it uh because from up ahead you really can't see much uh, due to the render distance and so here I'm just looking at all of it and this is a good way for you guys to see it all um, and of course I uh, I will be doing the video of just um, the the whole formation completely complete because you guys this is very rough this is just how I kind of built it um, but at the very end um, and off camera, I will be doing more edits here and there to finalize it for the final video with the dinosaurs in it and all of that. You see here how tall the grass kind of looks. I wish there was taller grass that we could have. 
so like you know it could look a bit more marsh like and uh kind of cover up the dinosaurs a bit better uh you can see here how i show the grass is going into the water uh and from there uh just mapping out what i'm going to do again Uh, and this area here that I show is basically where I'm going to start the redwood uh, area or the forest. Um, right here is a little facility, the two hatcheries and the ACU team to help get rid of dinosaurs that I may not want anymore. Uh, and that's all you really need for these types of builds. Uh, I tried covering it with trees so when you're on the ground level you really don't see it. I might end up removing it once I'm done uh, so it can just add to the more natural feel. Uh, but you can see here, I uh, go ahead and uh, get some trees, uh, more of these guys, these uh, marsh-like ones. And then from there, I start with these little redwoods that almost look like ficus. Uh, that's why I started off with them. And then as it goes further back, we get these larger redwoods. I chose the clumps of three because you get to help thicken up the forest a lot more with not having to place as many. Also looks less repetitive. Uh, and to break up the repetitiveness of those trivial trees, I will go back. Okay, and here is the final product. Um, you can see here, I ended up expanding on the uh, coastal sand part here. I kind of brought it down from here. I downloaded a mod that changed those trees out for these logs um they do blend in quite nicely uh with all the grass on them and i was gonna remove uh, quite a few of them though out of the coastal plain area uh in the full video of me you know going through the whole thing with the cinematics and stuff you'll actually see like the final thing here um see more of the river so it kind of expands down here and makes this little island uh, yet again, here is this section right here, um, coastal area, still a lot of patches that need to be filled, and what you didn't get to see is the forest, here's the forest, um, and nothing really changed with this facility, I'll probably get rid of it once I finish all adding in all the dinosaurs for the final thing. Um, but yeah guys, that is going to be the end of the build video, um, if you like the video make sure to leave a like and stay tuned for the... Uh, final video of um, the formation. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.